Welcome to Deep Dive Defense. Over here we give rare insights you won't hear elsewhere. Today's video is about a truly unique offensive weapon, a type that is possessed just by Israel for a very specific role. This is an asset never disclosed openly in public, with no direct photographic evidence to prove its existence. The missile is known only by the name assigned to it in a leaked, classified U.S. Pentagon security briefing. The Golden Horizon air-launched aeroballistic missile. This weapon, together with the RA-01 stealth drone, constituted the two offensive assets Israel was preparing for its strikes on Iran in October 2024. It is only due to that leaked U.S. security briefing that we know the name and understand the importance of these two weapon systems for Israel's offensive strike capabilities. Considering that U.S. intelligence analyzed just these two attack weapon systems in its classified briefings, the statement made by Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu in October 2025, in which he said that Israel possesses the most advanced offensive weapons on the planet, weapons none of the superpowers have, is believed to be a direct reference to the Golden Horizon missile. The weapon is an air-launched aeroballistic missile, equipped with what is believed to be a low-signature stealth glide vehicle. However, its difference from other aeroballistic missiles, such as hypersonic weapons, lies in the fact that its emphasis is not on achieving a hypersonic terminal endgame velocity above the Mach 5 threshold, but rather on intensive maneuvering to evade missile defense systems. In addition to this, it possesses an extremely low detectable signature, combining its high supersonic speed with late detection to defeat even advanced missile defense systems. These qualities of the Golden Horizon are indirectly deduced from its first use against Iran in April 2024. In that instance, the most striking feature of the Golden Horizon was the absence of any visible nighttime glowing effect, which is usually observed from re-entry vehicles or glide vehicles descending into the Earth's atmosphere at high speeds. Such visual signatures are best known from Iran's own missile strikes against Israel in 2024 and 2025. There is a key reason why almost all similar weapon systems around the world do not concern themselves with radar and infrared signature, instead emphasizing a high terminal endgame velocity. Namely that a superpower like United States operate very high-performance radar systems, like the ANTPY-2X band radar of the THAAD missile defense system, capable to detect such a weapon. Once detected, speed is superior to low signature in order to evade a missile defense interceptor. That highly expensive THAAD radar, of which few exist, is so powerful that even a glider or re-entry vehicle with an extremely low radar cross-section will ultimately be detected once it enters the target region. In the case of Iran, the situation is such that the THAAD batteries, supplied by the United States to Israel for protection against Iranian missile strikes, could not be neutralized by the method of hitting their ANTPY-2 radars. That's because other such radars are present within the region, for instance in Turkey and Saudi Arabia, which would conveniently assume the task of detecting and tracking any radar evading re-entry or glide vehicle flying towards Israel. This reality would force Iran to enter a conflict with the United States, or even with Turkey and Saudi Arabia simultaneously, to neutralize such high-performance radar sensors located throughout the region. Consequently, for Iran, it would be illogical to sacrifice speed for a lower probability of detection. This same logic, however, does not apply to Israel, since countries like Iran, Russia and China concentrate on more survivable mobile radar systems that are of lower performance and cost than the Thad's radar. Therefore, when facing radars such as the Tombstone and Gravestone fire control radars of the S-300 PMU-2, and even the S-400 air and missile defense systems, the low radar and thermal signature of the Golden Horizon becomes a significant advantage by enabling a later detection by those systems. This means that by the time the glider of the Golden Horizon has been detected by those missile defense batteries, the remaining reaction time available to intercept it is insufficient to allow for a successful engagement. Systems like the S-300 and S-400 are relatively low-cost all-rounder systems designed for widespread deployment against both air-breathing targets and ballistic missiles. They are not highly specialized systems like the THAAD, to which the new S-500 or the Chinese HQ-19 and HQ-20 systems would be more comparable. Hence, 
against a country possessing the missile defense capabilities of Iran, the Golden Horizon is an ideally suited weapon system for striking very high-value targets, such as the previously mentioned Tombstone fire control radars of the S-300 PMU-2 surface-to-air missile system. The Golden Horizon has its origin in the Israeli program to create target missiles that emulate primarily Iranian ballistic missiles. This program began with the Black Sparrow target missile, which emulated advanced Scud variants from the late 1990s and early 2000s. Then, when the objective evolved to emulate more advanced Shahab-3 and Ghadr variants of Iranian medium-range ballistic missiles, the much more advanced Blue Sparrow target missile was developed. At this stage, and besides validating the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 missile defense systems against those Iranian missiles, the qualities that the Blue Sparrow would offer as an air-launched ballistic missile against emerging threats like the S-300 PMU-2 and S-400 became very evident to the Israelis. Featuring a carbon composite booster stage with advanced flex-seal nozzle thrust vectoring, this weapon was clearly not a simple and sufficiently low-cost system to become a weapon for projecting massive firepower to extreme standoff distances. For such a role, it would be too cost-prohibitive. However, its glider would enable very late detection and high defense penetration power to hit the most important soft targets of an opponent. The defeat mechanism would hence be to strike below the effective reaction time of defending systems. While no photographic evidence of the separable glider exists, it is very possible that it features stealth shaping. The only previous instance known to the public, where a country worked on a stealth re-entry vehicle or glider for a ballistic missile, was a German project that utilized faceted stealth shaping for a drastically reduced radar cross-section. While no direct link exists between the Golden Horizon and this German project, previously, the Israeli Harpy one-way attack drone represents a case in which an abandoned German development was later acquired by Israel and refined into an effective weapon system. Therefore, it is logical to conclude that at least inspiration from such previous projects may have influenced Israeli designers, convincing them on the feasibility of developing a stealth glider for the Blue Sparrow target missile, which ultimately resulted in the Golden Horizon. The many secretive US projects on gliders, amongst which stealth types were certainly experimented, could have equally influenced the Israeli design team. However, beyond the radar cross-section, the other key factor enabling late detection by an adversary is the infrared signature. Here, it is believed that advanced knowledge and simulation capabilities have enabled the use of complex flight trajectories to manage the thermal signature. In this process, the initially hypersonic speed Golden Horizon glider trades its velocity for extended range by performing repeated sinusoidal-shaped pop-up maneuvers, also described as wave riding. During this maneuver, the high-speed glider dives toward the atmosphere and then rebounds back into upper regions of the atmosphere. It heats up and slows down during the dive, but during the subsequent jump back into upper atmospheric layers, it has time to radiate the accumulated infrared energy before initiating the next dive and pop-up cycle. The Golden Horizon flies at the edge of the atmosphere on a highly depressed trajectory, which is believed to remain at an altitude below approximately 80 kilometers. This specific flight path not only reduces its time of flight when compared to a standard parabolic ballistic trajectory, but also ensures it remains below the radar horizon for a longer duration, thereby making early detection by conventional radar systems impossible. The glider's specific flight trajectory also means that it avoids continuously heating up from a single atmospheric dive and the constant friction of deceleration until impact, a phenomenon observed during Iranian missile attacks on Israel. Consequently, the wave riding cycles of the Golden Horizon glider smoothly reduce its velocity to high supersonic speeds, while conveniently extending the overall range of the weapon system. Once at a high supersonic speed, the Golden Horizon executes its final dive toward the target. At this stage, a special feature of the Blue Sparrow, mentioned in Israeli documents, might be employed, namely, the barrel dive maneuver. This involves a helix-shaped descent trajectory that results in a flight path very difficult to predict. When combined with evasive maneuvering, most of the glider's remaining kinetic energy is invested in evading potential interceptor missiles. This trait of using kinetic energy for pseudo-random, evasive maneuvering may even slow the glider to high subsonic speeds in the final seconds before impact. 
a trade-off that is acceptable if it ensures evasion of missile defenses. This reduction in speed also means the Golden Horizon can achieve significantly higher accuracy than hypersonic missiles, which suffer from dynamic actuator delay effects of their aerodynamic steering fins. A problem that often leads to much larger missed distances compared to a supersonic speed glider, like that of the Golden Horizon. Thus, the special flight trajectory and overall design of the Golden Horizon result in both late detection and high accuracy, as well as very fast time of arrival. The high accuracy feature is particularly essential because the Golden Horizon glider is comparatively small and carries a low explosive yield, which reduces its effectiveness against hardened targets. The low payload of the Golden Horizon is believed to make an airburst explosion over the target, subjecting it to fragmentation damage, the most efficient method for its use. However, the small size of the glider also further reduces its physical radar cross-section considerably. In summary, it can be stated that the Golden Horizon exploits a specific dynamic within the missile defense systems of Israel's adversaries, specifically their avoidance of deploying radar systems like the AN-TPY-2, which due to their immobility and static nature, lack sufficient survivability in a direct confrontation. A system of this kind would also be too expensive for a country like Iran to field in sufficient quantities for missile defense batteries. Israel's unique geostrategic situation in the region, with its main ally, the United States, positioning such radars throughout the Middle East region oriented toward Iran, is the reason why the development of a weapon like the Golden Horizon would not be a logical pursuit for a country such as Iran. It is believed that next-generation missile defense systems like the Russian S-500 and the Chinese HQ-19 and HQ-20 are capable of detecting the Golden Horizon with sufficient reaction time to enable a successful interception. This is a capability enabled due to their more modern missile defense-oriented radar systems. But with Russia and China excluded, the Golden Horizon can truly be described as a superweapon of the current era. An even more secretive relative of the Golden Horizon also exists, namely, the longer-range Silver Sparrow variant target missile, whose weaponized name is not known. This weapon has not yet been documented to have been used, as far as is publicly known. Due to the scare information situation, it's even possible that the Golden Horizon is the name for the larger, longer-ranged Silver Sparrow, instead of the Blue Sparrow. Both weapons almost certainly use variants of the same aeroballistic glider. Whatever the truth is, these two weapons are clearly very different and superior to the ROX and Air Laura air-launched ballistic missiles that Israel has also developed. These two other weapons do not possess reduced detectable signatures because they lack a separable miniature glide vehicle. But that's the topic for another video. The Golden Horizon is a weapon that will never be produced in sufficient quantities to constitute a meaningful portion of the firepower Israel is able to generate and project. It must also be stated that the Golden Horizon functions more as the effector component within a larger, integrated weapon system. United States space-based electronic intelligence and imaging satellite constellations represent the other critical component. Without access to this precise detection and locating capability for the inertial guidance of the Golden Horizon, which is provided by its superpower ally, the effectiveness of the Golden Horizon in enabling the neutralization of soft, often mobile, very high-value targets would be highly questionable. Nevertheless, it is exceptionally well-suited for use against most of Israel's potential adversaries, and the tactical flexibility of an air-launched ballistic missile is also of great value for executing surprise attacks from unexpected directions. A F-15 aircraft carrying two Golden Horizon missiles, with its range extended via in-flight refueling, can enable an attack from an unexpected vector, a direction against which the opponent's missile defense radars are not oriented or not active. Hence, this specific air launch feature can become tactically highly useful. In fact, exactly these features were exploited by Israel in its decapitation attempt against Iran's leadership during the 12-day conflict in the summer of 2025. Furthermore, simultaneous, perfectly coordinated attacks by this weapons in the very first seconds of any surprise attack make its qualities starkly evident and explain the statement by Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu interpreted as the Golden Horizon being the most powerful offensive weapon system in the world. So that's all for today. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.
it really makes a difference in the YouTube algorithm and is a great support to the channel. The real enthusiasts can become members and given access to exciting membership area material. Thanks for your support and motivation. See you next time.